Hello there and thanks for tuning in. It's been a little while since I created a video and I thought I'd better get off my chuff and do something new. So since the last time you and I spoke I have uh, upgraded several versions of Mystic and we're now running at version 1.12 alpha 28 and during the last few alphas there's been a, a couple of new uh, cool features that have been added. In fact, there's been a bunch of stuff really, but I just want to show you one or two new things and at the same time explain some more stuff about how Mystic works. So the first thing I thought we'd do is just make sure that we've got the latest uh, message packets and files from the FSXNet hub. So I'm just going to Fido poll the hub and pick up everything that I need which I think will be a few messages by the looks of it and there's definitely a few echo mail packets coming in and oh, look there's a few files there as well the latest info pack and uh, the node list FSX net. I'm just going to manually run mutil mail in to process all of these things which it's now doing And goodness me, there's a few messages there. Please stand by, I'll play elevator music for you. Ding, tick, ding, ding, tick, ding, ding, tick, ding, ding, ding. No, I'm going to give up on that because my elevator music's pretty sucky. All right, 2,186 messages were imported and two files were imported as well. Lastly, I'm just going to run manually my maintenance, daily maintenance which I should have done some time ago and that's just updated all the um, message bases removed oh not many messages actually but it's linked a whole bunch and it's merged the node list and removed a couple of records from the file bases so that's the housekeeping up to date now the first thing I want to do is show you a what's new file because as you probably remember there is a what's new file that ships with mystic each time things are updated. Now this is um, an earlier release, Alpha 25, which came out July 6, but there's a couple of features in here I just want to talk you through. The first one is some modifications to the FidoPoll executable, which we just used before to grab those messages. Now you'll see that there is now a search option, which allows you to do a quick search of the node list. And the other cool thing is if you do run FidoPoll, it will now search the node list and attempt to connect via an unsecured Bink P connection. So in other words, you don't have to have the session password set up with the receiving system. So it will attempt to connect even though you don't have something set up as, a, as an echo node. And this is useful if you just want to get netmail from one system to another because as a general rule, netmail will be sent between systems and processed um, and perhaps land in that unsecured echo mail in uh, directory on your Mystic system or on their system. So just a quick look at FidoPoll. If we type in FidoPoll and press enter, this is, you can see, Alpha 28. There's that new um, section there, FidoPoll search. I'll try and bring this screen up a bit. Let's just tidy this up. That looks better. So if I go FidoPoll search and I go 21 one forward slash question mark that's showing me everything in the uh, FSX net network uh, net uh, sorry zone 21 um, net 1 and then show me all the nodes and look at that it's giving me a nice list there and if I wanted to I could just Fido poll any of those from here but if, imagine you've got other networks like Fido net or Agora net uh, set up on your system and in, in that case then you're going to see a lot more uh, results Anyway, it's a useful little tool if you're looking to search for something. I think if I go Fido poll search and I might go look for the word void, then instantly it's found under the BBS name, the void. Uh, that's Mitch's system based in Troy in the States and there's his address. So it's um, a useful tool. That's the first thing I want to show you. Second thing, if I can just drop back to the um, what's new, is that Mystic, uh, when Alpha 25 was shipped, Guru added, and Guru, aka James Coyle, the author of Mystic, added a new feature which I know he's still working on. It's a file index lister, 
which is pretty similar to a message uh, reader system that is already in place for Echo Mail, but this time it takes it to a whole new level for files. And there has also been a new menu command which has been added. It's uh, FI, menu command FI. Now if you want to know all about these menu commands, just head to the mysticbbs.com site, click on wiki, and then check out under the left hand nav the menu and menu commands page, which is slowly but surely being built. And there are a whole lot of commands here. And we were just being told about a new one called FI, I think it was. Oh, it's not actually listed there at this point, but it is in the what's new text, such as a, it's a new feature, FI. Now, the file index lister, in order to actually see that in action, I'm going to need to add that to the menus that I've got in my bulletin board. So if I fire up my demo bulletin board and I log in as red72 and put in my super secret password, 1234, don't tell anybody, and I'll log in and here's the menus. And if I go into the file areas menu, F, you'll see I've got a whole bunch of options there, but this new feature isn't showing. How do I add that? I'm glad you asked because this is a good opportunity for me to show you a new feature and at the same time show you how to do some work on the menus. So let's crack into it. I'll just leave this up here for now and we'll fire up the config side of Mystic which is sitting here. Hide that one for now I think. And to, to make these changes we want to go into the editors um, tab and we're going into the menu editor. Now Mystic allows you to set up a number of themes and in new versions of Mystic coming up, the Mystic 2 uh, work stream, there will be a much easier way to drop in whole sets of replacement themes which will include the menus, uh, the prompts and a whole bunch of other stuff. But for now I'm just going to show you what it looks like in Mystic 1.12. So Mystic ships with a default theme, strangely enough called default. And when you just um, drop into that through the menus editor, you get to look at all the various menus that ship with this default theme. And we're going to go into this one, the file base menu, which is uh, a direct correspondence to this one here, uh, the files that menu that we see here on the screen. So if I enter on that, this is the kind of view that I get. And you can see that each of these is a command on the menu pretty straightforward and you can see that a hotkey on the left hand side has been assigned and then there's some text that describes the function. So let's just open up one of these and see what it looks like. If I press enter on this I get a, a screen that allows me to actually do some work on this particular menu command. Now if I want to change the display text I could just press enter here and then I could start modifying things. So group Maybe I've put an exclamation mark on it just to make it look different. Um, you can see I could change the hotkey here. So instead of J, I might want to make it, mm, I don't know, H. I'm just making stuff up here. Of course, it's going to let me choose that. And there may already be another menu option with a hotkey of H assigned. So just be careful here. You want to make sure that you have hotkeys that are generally unique uh, within a particular menu that you're working on. I'll just go back and tidy that up. The other thing, and there's a whole bunch of other things I could do, I could set a security level. So maybe I want this to be only people that are uh, have a security level setting of, um, oh, I don't know, 20 or higher. In this case then, um, if you're not a validated user, you're not going to be able to use this particular command within this menu. Generally, I'll just leave that blank as well. Now this is a, a two-part screen. You can kind of get to all of these fields here, but you can't get below where it shows you that command, FG file group change, this bit down here. And in order to get to that, you need to press the tab key on the uh, screen. And that jumps us down into this page, this section of the page here. Now when I press enter on that, that actually opens up the command um, that we've currently got options for with a file group change and 
there usually are a couple of other fields that you can fill out if you want to. There might be some optional data that you pass to this menu command. And again, you can set um, an access level as well. And you can also define how you're going to execute that. Now, I don't know all the ins and outs of this. In fact, I'm looking forward to some further tuition myself. But you can appreciate it's a very granular system and there's plenty of scope for you to customize, believe me. Now, what I want to do, though, is create a new menu command. And I'm just pressing escape a couple of times to get back here. And you can see here it says press forward slash for command list. So if I press forward slash, I get a bunch of options. And several of them are to insert or delete some of the existing, insert a new command on this menu, delete something. I could copy and paste it, or I can simply view what it looks like. There's the menu. Must remember to do that next time, save me loading the other one. Um, but for now, I just want to also show you that there is a settings option for this particular menu that we're working on. And in that settings, we can give it some further description. So in this case, it's the file-based menu. You have to have an access of at least S10. Um, there are a whole bunch of other fields which I'm not going to get into, but these ones here allow you to find the, the header that goes above the uh, menu. So it's actually using a command that says display file. And then if you have a look in your text directory, there's a file called file HDR. And here's the menu prompt that goes with the um, menu as well. So again, you can dig into this and you can find out how to set your menu prompt, which is this prompt down the bottom here where it says group area command. Now, what I want to do is add a new menu command. And I'm just going to, for want of a better spot, stick it here. And I'll press forward slash and I'll press insert and it, it defaults with a queue and quit to main menu but that is a new command line that I've just stuck in. So now I'm going to modify that and change it to something meaningful. Now a quick page up and down through these list of menu commands just to look for a, a hotkey that hasn't been assigned. In fact to be safe I'm just going to use a, a numeric number for this. So let's edit things up and just see what we can do here. Uh, firstly, I'm just going to change out the text and I will call this file, what was the name of the new feature? It is called the file index lister. That's cool, so let's use that. Right, file index lister and here is just where it displays the letter on the screen, so I'll make that the number one and press enter. So now it says one file index lister, that's the display text. Uh, you can see if you're using a light bar you can set the text for like the uh, normal text and the highlighted text if you're using a light bar effect. So again I will just for completeness make this file index lister and this one as well I'll update that. You see it's got a pipe code and the number 15 that's a color code which is for uh, white, isn't it? So there you go. See, there's a slightly a bright white, and that's sort of more of a gray color, pipe code 07. My hotkey, I better make it a one, and then I'll press tab to jump down to the menu commands that I want, and I'm gonna just press enter on this one, and we're gonna change this menu command by pressing enter on the command line, and now you can see, I've, this is where I can see all of my menu commands. And the one I want is this new one here called File Index Lister. So let's go with that. I don't need anything in the data field, so I'm just going to blank that out. And then I'm going to press Escape a couple of times, and you can see now it's added it to the, the menu. But I'm not done just yet because I need to save this. When I press Escape again, this is where it counts, and I need to say Yes saved. So that has now made a change to the file menu inside my default menu set. And just to confirm that I'll press enter again and there it is there you see. So now that I'm just back out at this stage let's uh, hide the config side of things, go back into this and I'll just quit back to the main menu and then just reload the menu. You don't need to log out and straight away you can see now I've got an option one up here in the top right hand corner of the screen file index lister. So let's press it, see what happens. Ooh, cool. So this is a brand new feature 
which allows us to uh, list files by file groups and as new files arrive you will see them flagged here as new. Um, the, my advice to you is when you have a play with this just use Control Z to get up the whole help screen because there's a whole bunch of features here you can subscribe to file bases and you can toggle the view between file bases that are uh, subscribed to and not subscribed to and so on. Um, and if, imagine you've got a whole bunch of file bases in the system and you're looking for um, a particular one. You can use a text search. If I just type in the word node, you can see it's jumped straight onto the FSX node lists file base. Uh, but then I could press Control A again and again and that would jump me around all the various file bases that had the word node in their description. So that is a very quick overview of well, I guess a few new features that came in around Alpha 25 and at the same time a chance for you to have a quick look at how we set up um, changes in the menu editor. The menu editor is really versatile. As you can see, there are a bunch of menus that ship with Mystic. The main menu is right there. Um, and there is a special menu as well, which I'll just draw your attention to, called Pre-Login. And when you go into this one, uh, check this one out, press enter and oh okay well in this particular instance I think I removed a few commands but if you check your installation you might find that there's a few more commands down the bottom here because this is a special menu that normally gets executed um, when people log in hence the pre-login name so this allows you to add a whole bunch of things in the pre-login sequence before you even as a user get to the main menu Anyway, that's probably about enough for now. As always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time. Please like the video if you, if you um, like what I've covered. And as always, like the channel, tell your friends, and keep an eye out for the latest updates. Catch you next time. Bye-bye now.